Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Dr. Simone Says. Uh, my name is Simone Eastman Yuan. I am a medical doctor with sickle cell disorder and I am also, here's a mouthful, the best-selling author, actually the two-time best-selling author of the books A Doctor in a Patient's Body, Dreaming Big with Sickle Cell Disease and Chronic Pain and the book All Rise, The Sickle Cell Community versus the Medical Establishment. Yeah, both are number one best-selling books. I have been busy, but these days I like to spend my time making sure that every sickle cell survivor becomes a sickle cell thriver because it matters that we live well. So today I'm going to talk about IV fluids and what to look for. Um, I was recently written uh, for IV fluids at home and I noticed that when I took my IV fluids and I was pretty out of it at the time so it was delivered and um, you know I have the blessing of being a medical doctor and being able to sterile access my metaport so um, I was able to do that but I always assume that everyone knows you know what is needed for the IV fluids and so I did not look at the bag I didn't look at what it said and so for the first couple of days I actually felt worse and then I started having um, congestion so I felt like my lungs were wet started wheezing and I was just using one um, IV fluid bag a day um, sometimes a little less so it should not have done that um, but it did and what I realized later was that I was actually using the wrong IV fluids and it's the one that everyone else uses in the emergency room it is um, if you look at your IV bag you will see 0.9% sodium chloride sometimes it will say uh, D5 and then 0.9% that D5 is just dextrose but I am looking uh, for all intents and purposes at the 0.9% sodium chloride so that is considered normal normal sodium chloride 0.9% and it is the same amount of salt that is in the blood. So if you gave that to someone in their blood, it would not go into their cells or water from their cells would not come out or anything. It would pretty much stay even except that it would um, give you some more fluid in your circulation, which can be helpful, especially um, if you are dehydrated. But in a euvolemic patient, meaning that you're not dehydrated, you just have a vaso-occlusive crisis in sickle cell disease. If you present to the emergency room and you see 0.9% on your bag, tell them stop. Stop immediately. And the reason why is, well, it's twofold. Number one, the big one is that we have a problem with our kidneys called isostenuria and sometimes it's hypostenuria and what that means is we don't get rid of our um, salt uh, easily so we cannot afford to take normal saline with all that salt uh, when we can't eliminate it well uh, for that reason we need to have a half normal saline or a quarter normal saline so your bag should actually be saying 0.45 percent sodium chloride or 0.225 percent which is half of 0.45 so 0.225 percent sodium chloride and really if you could do it water would be the best just chugging water 
The second reason, as I mentioned, there were two, is that research has shown that it's not just that you need water in your circulatory system, but you actually need water in the cell. The cell itself is dehydrated. And to be able to put water in the cell, you now need a solution that has less salt so that it would travel into the cell which has more salt. Salt usually pulls water. And so if there is more salt outside, then the cell would actually become dehydrated because the water for the cells would go into would go outside of the cells to uh, follow the salt that's in the environment outside of the cell. But if you give a hypotonic solution, meaning a solution that has less salt than the blood, then it is going to go in, the water is going to go inside of the cell and hydrate the cell. And that's actually what we need. Well, actually we need a little of both, but we really need for our cells to be rehydrated. And so if we get 0.9%, that ain't happening. And what will end up happening is you will have a little extra fluid, but if you were not dehydrated to begin with, it's not really doing much. So you are you are essentially hanging out in the hospital and wondering why your pain isn't going down. Well, because the problem isn't being reversed uh, with 0.9 sodium chloride. So if you see that, like I said, please alert the nurse, alert the doctor, and I will put some um, some links below where you could um, direct your nurse or doctor in the event that they're resistant to the fact that you may know a little more than them on this issue. Um, you can point them to those links and have them read it for themselves. But the uh, National Institutes of Health, starting with the expert panel way back in 2012, recommended that we have half normal saline or quarter normal saline for this very reason. Why all of our emergency room physicians and hematologists don't know that, I am not sure. But even the 2014 NIH guidelines uh, refer back to that. And so I'm just saying it's been around since 2012 and the 2014 guidelines um, have that as well. So um, as well as um, ASH, the American Society of Hematology, that's in their guidelines. Um, also, American Academy of Family uh, Physicians, AAFP, that's in their guidelines that we should have half normal or quarter normal saline. So I will um, put some of those guidelines, uh, some of those links for you so that you can um, uh, refer to those links when you encounter resistance. But if you want to get better, make sure that you look at your IV bag and make sure that you ask for half normal saline or 0.45%, um, which is half normal, or quarter normal saline, which is 0.225%, because those are the only ones that are truly going to help change your situation. Until next time, this is Dr. Simone Says, and remember, you are a sickle cell thriver, not just a survivor. If you benefited from this episode any at all, please like on the episode, subscribe to the channel, and share the link with one other person as your good deed towards the sickle cell cause. Thank you and have a great day.